Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're talking about Skechers running shoes. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. How are we all doing? Let me know in the comments why you're down there. Are you a fan of Skechers running shoes? Do you own a pair? Are you looking to get a pair? And how readily available are they in the country that you live? Now, like I said in the opening, um, Skechers, this video is all about Skechers, uh, and the reason I wanted to make it is because it is one of the brands I get asked about the most. I think some of it is to do with the fact here in the UK, they're not that readily available, um, and that is gonna be changing. Um, but there's a lot of interest in the brand, there's a lot of interest in the shoes, because they make some really awesome shoes. And um, I think today, what I wanna talk about, and this is probably gonna be a little bit more for, for the guys in the UK, so apologies uh, for all our worldwide viewers. Um, but I wanna talk about the shoes that are readily available here in the UK that you can get now, some of the ones that are gonna be coming out. But for you guys who just dig sketches, I will talk briefly about um, sort of the hyper person why it's so awesome, and that sort of stuff as well, so maybe it is interesting for you. Right, so, um, oh yeah, I've got to tell you something before we get started. Right, so just for uh, transparency, as always, um, the running shoes that are featured in this video were sent to me by Skechers, um, but they're not getting paid for this video. Uh, they don't have any control over this video. They've not even asked uh, for me to make this specific video. So just as a heads up, as always, the shoes uh, on 40 rounds, they're either sent to us, loaned to us, or I buy them myself. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure you knew that before we go into it, but this is not a paid advert for Skechers. Right, with that out of the way, let's get stuck in. Okay, so let's start with a bit of a history lesson. Um, and we're gonna go back to like 2000 and, was it 18, 19, something like that. Uh, I'll probably get shot in the comments about the dates, but basically, a couple of years ago, um, Skechers introduced this performance running shoe with the Hyperburst midsole. Um, and this sort of midsole changed, I think, a lot of perceptions uh, of Skechers running shoes in general for uh, a runners like myself. Um, this process, which I'll go into in a second, it, it is different, uh, and the makeup of this midsole is different, and the feeling of this midsole is different. And what that's created is a performance shoe here with the Razor 3, the OG, that was just like nothing else back then. And then what Skechers did, they took that technology from the Hyperbus and they introduced it into a line of shoes. Um, so we've got like, uh, and we'll come on to these, but they introduced it into sh uh, shoes like the Go Run 7, 7 Plus, this is the 7 Plus, but the Go Run 7, and some of the other, the Max Road and all that sort of stuff. They took the Hyperburst midsole and they introduced it into a line of shoes. I, saw, I think it was like 2019, 2020, uh, where they introduced it and they've been updating it ever since. Um, and what that's done is taken the, you know, one of the key elements uh, from the Razor 3, which is its lightness and, and the responsiveness from the Hyperburst and put that into a broader range of shoes like daily trainers and all that sort of stuff. Um, but what is Hyperburst? Okay, so we're all gonna get a bit scientific now, so bear with me and I'm probably gonna get some of this wrong, but I'll try my best to explain this in the simplest terms possible. Um, and I wrote some notes down, so I'm gonna read some of this out as well so I don't make too many muck-ups. But firstly, I think the, uh, I mean, the biggest thing that when you get a running shoe is, is most of the shoes, most of the shoes have an EVA foam. Now this actually, um, started off, a hyper starts off as an EVA foam, but we'll get onto that. But EVA foam, um, a typical EVA foam is chemically blown uh, and it starts solid uh, with chemicals in it, it's then heated, uh, pressurized and expands and then creates something like you get on the Zoom X, but it creates like a solid piece of foam. Um, let's just grab that. So it's like a solid bit of foam, okay? Now, what Skechers did um, back whenever um, to create the Hyperburst, they took what was EVA foam, um, but instead of like sort of chemically, uh, um, yeah, chemically uh, blown it, or chemically blowing it, if that's even a word, they've mechanically blown it. And what that does, it, that is a super critical um, fluid technology that they use. So it starts off as, as EVA, but there's no chemical blowing agents in it. Uh, they put the EVA foam into a pressure cooker and add nitrogen and CO2, and this is the key. That then gets heated uh, and then penetrates the EVA. So this then creates a lightweight foam uh, that's not you know, as solid as an EVA, and it's made up of like all this sort of cell structure with like strong walls. And that basically creates, uh, instead of like having this big thick slab of EVA, you'll say you've got like these little, they're almost like bubbles inside, which are super strong because of the cell structure makeup. Uh, where it's gone through that sort of, uh, yeah, mechanically blown 
process. And that's what sort of creates the lightweightness of it, but also the different feeling. So it's not like, um, it's not like a thick, dense slab of EVA foam. It's like loads of, yeah, it's like, <laughs> think about, and I don't know whether uh, for you guys who are in the, uh, elsewhere in the UK, but think about an aero bar. Think about what an aero bar looks inside. Uh, and imagine that those sort of walls are made up of super strong um, sort of chemicals, I suppose, that creates this sort of, I don't know, this, this material that's got like air in it, that looks like air in it. So it's just, yeah, it's just, it's basically not a thick, solid slab of EVA foam. And that's kind of the difference. So it's all about, and I'm probably not explained it very well, but it's all about the process that's used and, and the way they've gone about it um, uh, to create this. Yeah, and it's, what's the best way to describe it? It's a, it's a responsive, lightweight, fast foam. I think that's the best way to describe it. And until you're running it, it's hard really to explain but there is a real difference of feeling versus an EVA foam. Right, so hopefully that's explained some of it. Um, let me know in the comments if that made any sense. Um, there was, I tell you what, there was a good video by the guys at Running Warehouse who really know the guys at Sketch as well. So I would send you there if that didn't make any sense because um, when I was researching this video, uh, that was one of the places I looked, uh, apart from the Sketch's website and other places and stuff like that. But that, they had a lot of good information on there about hyperpersonal and all that sort of stuff. So check that out, the guys at Running Warehouse, they make some awesome videos as well. But anyway, right, so hopefully that explains hyperbursal. As I say, this is more of a, a just a lightweight, resilient, fast and, and responsive midsole. And that's what makes these shoes so awesome. Um, right, let's talk next about the shoes that you can actually get right now in the UK. Okay, so the first shoe that we're going to talk about actually doesn't have hyperburst in it, but this is the um, Max Cushion shoe from Sketches. And I want to talk about this one first because it's kind of sits there in that sort of recovery run, easy run, but max stack, max cushioned running shoe, uh, which is still lightweight. This features the Ultra Go midsole. So this is an EVA foam. So this is a massive cushioned platform. It's got a six mil drop, 9.1 ounces. You've got midfoot strike zones, which helps. Uh, promote efficiency, it's got an engineer, seamless engineered mesh upper, and it costs 80 pounds. Yes, 80 pounds. Got a pull tab on the back. Um, and oh, where's the outside? So the outside's got little bits of rubber on it uh, in certain places. Um, but yeah, this is all about sort of max cushioning. And as I said, it's perfect for those recovery runs. It is a lot of shoe. It is a big shoe. I think the, the comparable to this in terms of where you're looking, it's probably like a Bondi 7, something like that. Again, Max Cushion recovery shoe, something like that. So it's for those easy days for that person who likes a lot of foam underfoot. Um, but at 80 pounds, you know, it's a good shout. And don't forget, I think I've said in another video, it, you can hunt around and get codes for sketches. So it reduces the price on the UK website quite heavily uh, if you get the promo codes. So, you know, you could get this really, really cheap. But this is an ideal shoe, like I say, for those recovery runs, for those easy day runs and all that sort of stuff. But it doesn't feature the uh, Hyperburst uh, midsole. This has got the Ultra Go cushion midsole and it is a very nice place to be. The only thing I would say in terms of sizing, this does come up uh, probably slightly larger. So um, I'm usually a UK nine and a half in my running shoes. But I would go for a UK nine in this shoe. So just give you an example in terms of sizing, but there's no problem with width. And in terms of all these shoes, I've got no problems in terms of width with any of these shoes. But this is the Max Cushion shoe from Sketches. Right, so Daily Trainer from Sketches, which you can buy now here in the UK, is the Go Run Ride 8. Now, this versatile Daily Trainer, I think, is one of their best. It does feature the Hyperburst midsole, so we've talked about um, how that works. And this is super, super lightweight as you'd expect from a Hyperburst Sketchers shoe. It's 8.7 ounces, you've got a six mil drop, like I said, about a million times, it features the Hyperburst midsole. You've got the Goodyear rubber on the outside, I'll show you that, and then you've got a, a engineered two-tone stretch in the upper. And yeah, this is a 110 pounds on the website. Again, look out for those codes, people. So, you've got reasonable amount of foam in there, just enough for a daily trainer. The tongue is thin enough so it doesn't feel too intrusive. The lacing's awesome, it's not any of that stretchy sort of stuff that you get. Uh, you can take out the insole and replace it if you so wish. On the outsole, like I said a second ago, it features the Goodyear rubber. So there is plenty of grip on this shoe. Um, it features the M-Strike um, 
technology. So again, promoting that sort of efficient strike pattern and running pattern uh, from sketches. You've got obviously exposed hyperburst there. The um, two-tone um, two knit upper, stretch knit upper, is very comfortable, very breathable, and you don't really feel like you're wearing it. Width is not a problem, size is not a problem. This doesn't come up as big as the Max Cushion, for example. So this is a UK nine and a half for me. This is a great shoe, daily trainer, workhorse, can do literally everything. Think, um, you know, like your Beacon 3 from New Balance, for example. It's a perfect example, sort of, this shoe. It's just that everyday running shoe. Slip on, go out, run. You can do park run in it. You can do 10K in it. You can run a half marathon in it. You could probably run a marathon in it if you wanted to. And, you know, it is a daily trainer that you can do everything in. If you can afford one pair of running shoes, um, this is a perfect example of a daily trainer that would do everything. So next up here in the UK, which you can get, and this is one of my favorites, is the um, 7 Plus, the Go Run 7 Plus. Now this is the updated version, uh, where they've changed some of their shoes, they're calling them Plus. Another shoe that you, is on the website at the moment is the Max Road, which is like a um, sort of, it's got hyperburst and it. it sort of sits between the Max Cushioned and then like the Daily Trainers, but it does feature the hyperburst. But that's been replaced by the Max Road, I think it's, I might get this wrong, 4 Plus. It's available, funnily enough, in the US, but not here in the UK. But that's like a more of a booty construction, higher ankle uh, shoe. But they've replaced that uh, recently, and they called it Plus. It's like um, three plus. We'll come on to that. So uh, anyway, so this is like the newer version of the Seven. That's what I was trying to get at. Again, features the hyperburst compound. We spoke about that. You've got um, Goodyear rubber on the M on the outsole, and then you've got the M Strike technology again. This shoe weighs in at 7.6 ounces. It's got a four mil drop, breathable net upper. Um, and I would say this is more, think Nike Epic React. So lightweight, daily trainer. Um, yeah, just more of a natural feeling, less intrusive. Not that this is intrusive, but you know, like this is, let's say this is more of a, a traditional running shoe. This is more of a sort of, casual running shoe, lightweight, um, say, especially with the feel of it. It just feels, yeah, it just feels great. Uh, and I say, probably a good example is like the Epic React in terms of what you, um, in comparable. Um, so, you know, like again, you can do everything in the Epic React, you can do everything in this. There's plenty of responsiveness from the Hyperburst, and it's lightweight and can do pretty much everything. You chuck at it. Okay, so then we come on to my old favorite, the Razer 3 Plus. Um, now, this is not available yet in the UK, but will be coming to the shores soon. Um, this is the updated version of the OG. Uh, where is it? The three, which I still think just looks awesome. I've got a really, really worrying obsession with this shoe. Um, this shoe, you can on occasion get it depending on stock levels. So watch out, and not necessarily from the Sketches website as well. Um, you can sometimes get it. Have a look on Amazon places like that. You can sometimes get your hands on that shoe. It's the same with this, actually. If you look on like places like Amazon stuff, these do pop up from time to time. So if you can get it, but if you want to wait for when it does come over, uh, this shoe retails at the moment for around £130, right? But that's not an official price from Sketches. I don't know what price they're going to set for it over here in the UK. But wait for it. 6.4 ounces. Yep. Boom. 6.4 ounces. Uh, we've still got the Hyperburst midsole. Uh, they switched the shoe over to a Goodyear outsole and, and they've added some medial coverage showing in a second. Uh, and the shoe's got a four mil drop. And I've done videos on this, so check this uh, videos out. But basically, um, they added a medial section here versus that shoe and they put Goodyear rubber. So they've carried the Goodyear rubber over from these shoes onto their, probably let's say their most popular daily, sort of up-tempo daily trainer. Now this shoe is <laughs> so awesome. It's just lightweight, it just wants you to run fast. But because you've got the Hyperburst midsole, it can do everything. So I use this for daily training, you know, 5K, 10K, whatever. Um, you can do fast tempo sessions in it. You can go and run a fast park run in it. You can go and smash out a, a 10K in it. You can literally do everything. I wouldn't necessarily put this on for a marathon, um, but it could probably quite comfortably do it. Although just bear in mind, of the uh, sort of lower stack height, depends what sort of shoe you like to do marathons in. But you know what, it's got a very, very breathable upper. For me, this shoe actually comes up slightly bigger than the original. This is a UK 9.5, UK 9.5, but this one, for whatever reason, just came up a little bit 
Big, I don't know why that is, but it's still not an issue for me because I do like a little bit of room in my shoes. Um, this has got very stretchy laces versus the other one, but you know what? This is just an amazing shoe. And when it does come out in the UK, if you can get one, I really recommend it. And then we've got this, which is actually dirty because I've, <laughs> I've been running in it. Have a look. <laughs> um, but this is the Razor Elite. Now, this shoe hopefully uh, will be coming to the UK. When I'm not sure about, um, I'm hoping Sketches give me the data and when it does come because it is awesome. Um, so this is something to look forward to when it does come. It has got a super breathable upper. This is a racing version of this, basically, I would say. It is lightweight to like another level. Again, it's like weighs nothing. It's like a bit of paper. You've got a four mil drop. But what's different about this, you've obviously got the M Strike and the Goodyear and all that sort of stuff. But what's awesome about this is you've got a carbon plate at the forefoot. So what that gives you is a real snap, a real kick off the toe off. And that's the thing. You've got the uh, hyper burst with the plate at the forefoot and it is just boom, off of that toe. And off you go. When you really go after it, this really gives you some speed. And, and that's the difference between this. I mean, this is a quick shoe for me, but this thing is just, it's just so much fun. It reminds me of the Rocket X in terms of, uh, of fun and how and how much, uh, uh, far, how fast you want to run in it. So it's bad English, but how fast you want to run in it. It is absolutely awesome. There is an elite version of this shoe um, that I've not tried. Uh, I'm sorry, this is the Razor, but the, the hyper elite version. Uh, which is uh, carbon plate, which is like for the marathon shoes, but you can't get that in the UK. I don't know whether they're going to be bringing that, but I've got none of that information. But that shoe is like, you can't get that for love nor money. But hopefully when this does come, I would really recommend you get it. It is just awesome. It fits true to size. It is just so much fun. It is an amazing shoe, I think, for like when we can get back to it. You know, if you've got like a 10K race or whatever, you know, like a local 10K, shove these on and just go and have it. It is really really fun to run in this shoe i absolutely love this now don't get me wrong everybody knows i'm obsessed with well where is it this one but oh boy i think i might get slightly obsessed with this one as well it is awesome absolutely awesome okay so there's two other shoes that i think are interesting from sketches and uh one of them i know is coming to the uk because actually believe it or not it's on the next website <laughs> don't know why it's on the next website but that's the um uh, Razor Excess, I was trying to forget the name, but that's the Razor Excess. So that's like a highly cushioned version of this. When I say highly cushioned, uh, you know, it's not like, where is it, the Max, which has got like a house underneath it. It is a more cushioned version of this shoe. So they've taken everything that's awesome about this and they've given you more stack height, so more hyper burst, and it looks amazing. Um, you're still gonna get the same feel, you're still gonna get the same lightness, the hyper burst, midsole, Goodyear, outsole, all that sort of stuff but with more cushioning. So they've made it, uh, um, yeah, this is more up-tempo, that's probably more daily trainer. So that's that's due out, it's 124 pounds on the next website, if you can get it at the moment. I know it's limited sizes, but hopefully that will be coming uh, on the Sketches website later on in the year, but that's one definitely to look out for. And the other shoe that I'm interested to see uh, when it does come out is the uh, Vanish 2. Now, I don't know whether, again, that's going to be coming to the UK, but it's a super lightweight. I, I saw on Instagram, somebody say it was 5.5 ounces, which is insane. 29 mil stack, 4 mil drop, um, ultra flight, TP, uh, TPU-based midsole over the hyper burst, which is interesting. Um, but like, literally, that is just come out uh, and I think some testing samples are out so again that's another one to keep an eye I don't know whether that's coming to the UK but that's one of the sketchy shoes that I'm going to be looking for towards the end of the year if we get it over here in the UK okay guys so that's it I think um to summarize I think sketches make awesome shoes um like I said right at the start of the video what's really important to me about running shoes is to find shoes that are affordable lightweight and fast and sketches basically um, pretty much every shoe they make feels like that. It doesn't matter whether it's a, a daily trainer or an up-tempo shoe from sketches. They just feel awesome to run in. And I'm, I'm a big fan, as you may have guessed, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video, because I wanted to get it out there. Uh, the perception is sketches, particularly over here in the UK, that a lot of old people wear them um, and all that sort of stuff, which is wrong because... They, these shoes are awesome, and the process and the science what goes into them is incredible. 
Um, and I really, I really think that if you try them out, you know, if, you, if you're sick and tired of paying 160 pounds for a pair of Nike running shoes, you know, look at the Skechers website and, bad example, but look at the, the Skechers website and see what you can pick up because they are different um, to your norm, which I think is awesome. Um, but I really feel like you will enjoy them. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about Skechers? Is this video now going to persuade you to try them out? I know here in the UK it is tricky to get hold of um, some of the shoes, but honestly, you, if you hunt about it, you can get them. For example, on the next website, the, the Skechers Excess is on there when I look today. Um, and today is the uh, 11th of February. Actually, I'll, I'll prove it to you. Um, just so you don't think I'm talking out of my bum. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So look, Skechers, I'm going to Google Skechers Razor Excess. And this is the thing, guys. If you hunt about, you can get these shoes. Don't always look on the, on the same places. Right, so next. Okay, next. Bosh. Next.co. It's probably not going to come out. Next.co.uk. Does that show up? Next. Go run Razor Excess Trainers. £124. See what I mean? And this is the thing. So if you hunt about, that's my point. Don't just be uh, put off by the fact that some of the stuff's on the sketches. And also on sketches, what tends to happen here in the UK, they'll get like um, a load of stock coming and all of a sudden it'll appear on the website. So just because your size isn't in. I remember when I got originally these, I, I put a notification to ask when these were back in stock. I got a notification, ordered them, job done. Paid £85 because I had a code and they'd be one of my all-time favourite running shoes. But that's it, guys. Hopefully that helps. Check the sketches out. I say this is not a paid advert. Buy sketches. They have not paid me any money to make this, but I'm just so passionate about the shoes because I think they're awesome and I wanted to share that with you.